I got this old uh, mini Baja here. Picked it up. Uh, guy said it didn't run. Couldn't get it running. Engine was probably toast. Uh, picked this up for 40 bucks. It has the original Baja 196 cc engine with a stator that produced power for a headlight and it's in rough shape obviously well ridden but uh, even though it has ball tire no cracks anywhere on the frame and as soon as I got it home I ended up cleaning the car about which uh, involved dropping this little bowl here as well as the main bowl and cleaning all the jets out cleaning everything and putting it back on fired right up and sounded fine so here's what i was thinking i had seen uh, online people talking about doing a fuel injection for these honda clone engines so i picked this up put it in the barn haven't messed with it in a couple years but I just got fuel injection. So let's rip this carb off and see where we can get with that. And look at these handlebars. They're just toast. So let's switch that over too and be right back. You know, as I get ready to make a change here on this carb, I just wanted to kind of show you what I'm going to do here so what I've done so far is turns out the nuts were mis missing on the exhaust got those swapped out uh, changed the handlebar put brand new grips uh, throttle twist throttle uh, and cable on um, and got that all on uh, got the exhaust tightened down and I'm about ready to change this out now you might be saying what type of fuel injection and that is actually going to be uh, Tillotson. Uh, this is a TCT. Um, this is a fuel injection carb that they make. Now this particular model is a TF2A 6UA. Now here's kind of what I stumbled upon. This particular model was for sale on eBay. It was like 30 bucks. Yeah, you know, free shipping. And Tilton is a international company, you know, and they have these videos on. They kind of go through as best as they can, explain what the deal is. And to be perfectly honest, it sounds more like a, it's a mechanical throttle body type of a setup here. Now this line that they have of their fuel injection carbs, they have better ones, I'm going to say. More adjustable ones for racing applications. If you're going to pull out the uh, governor, if you're going to go, you know, balls deep on a build or something like that, you're going to want one of the fully adjustable racing ones. This is just made for stock applications. It's the idea is to give you more of a you know worry free run. So I was interested, the price was right, you know, so I picked it up. I'm gonna check it out, see how it does. Um, I reached out to the company and I asked them, I explained what I was thinking. And they got right back to me the next business day, and they said, absolutely, it'll work just fine. But they said, if I get bored and I want to do anything to the engine, step up to another one. So, yeah. So there you go. Let's give it a shot. Okie dokie. We are all hooked together. I've got tension on the return with my really janky... Uh, throttle this is gonna be first fire up it's in the let's put it in the start position there's no fuel off uh, gonna come up here 
and go start on that. Let's get the little pole. Let's go to run. Because I was messing with it. Maybe it's near flooded. I don't know. Sounds smooth. Rusty as hell though. They haven't uh, done anything for this a couple of years. The wire on the back tire. I'll take it for a spin. Alright, let's see if we can get some action shot here. Let's run them. Works good. Um, what you didn't see was the first time that I actually started it up, see if it would go. I uh, took it to the back 40 there, and there's a bunch of mud, and uh, just rooster tailed it all over my back. Which, you know, it's cool, it's just not my thing. So, uh, anyway, um, yeah, seems to work good. Beforehand, the carb that was on it you know I had cleaned it that previous time but it still wasn't great it still really hesitated and I, I suspect that there was a jet somewhere that just wasn't quite cleaned out good enough so this is you know great so far um, instant power uh, I'm gonna have to add a fuel filter and shut off and Probably a new hose because when I clamp that hose that was on it together, I actually ended up uh, not really being able to separate it too well. So it's kind of gummy. Um, so I get that stuff switched up, but uh, I just kind of wanted to do something that I only had like a kind of an hour to work on, and uh, you know this seemed like it was pretty straightforward. So I wanted to give it a shot and see how it go, and it. Uh, Seems like it's uh, pretty cool. So, 
I like it. So we'll see where it goes.